<laughs> okay, next coming up, Mayim Bialik. Mayim, what do you have? Chicken and matzo ball soup is a great way to celebrate the Jewish New Year, and I'll show you my family's recipe. Tonight is the eve of the Jewish New Year, Rosh Hashanah. Mm. And here to help us celebrate is the girl who played the young Bette Midler character in the movie Beaches. So good. I want you to say hi to Mayim Bialik. Hi. Hi, hi Mayim. Mayim. How are you? Good. Oh, Mayim comes bringing gifts. What do yeah. you have here? Um, this is apples um, and honey, apples dipped in honey, mm. which you have on Rosh Hashanah. And the honey symbolizes the sweetness of the New Year. Oh, how nice. And those yeah. are good looking apples. I yeah. bet you they're Washington State apples, <laughs> home state. Uh, you, you were recently on Arsenio Hall. Did you see her on Arsenio? Well, yeah, that's because she's, you know, so popular. Everyone wants her on their shows. <laughs> we're lucky to have yeah. her here. What happened when you were on that show? Uh, well, I played the trumpet because I played the trumpet in my school band, and my rabbi um, saw me from my temple, and he called me and asked if I'd like to blow the shofar. Which is a big deal. Yeah, for the family service, and this is the shofar, and it's a ram's horn, and I'm going to be doing that tomorrow morning. That's, that's great. great. And we know that your rabbi watches Arsenio, yeah. <laughs> and Arsenio will be thrilled to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> We know you also brought along your family's recipe for chicken soup with matzo balls. Right. Mm, so we gotta have yeah. that. Right. Okay, what do we need to get started? We got a lot of stuff here. Yeah, we do have a lot of stuff. Okay, we have one whole chicken, it's two or three pounds. Yeah. Um, just enough water to cover the chicken, like in a pot. One whole red onion, you can peel that. One parsnip, clean and trimmed. And four large celery stalks, and you can leave those leaves on. Four large carrots, also cleaned and trimmed. Six mushrooms, also cleaned and trimmed. Well, you're big into cleaning and trimming. Yeah, That's good. one cup of fresh parsley, half a cup of dill, chopped dill, two tablespoons of uncooked white rice, and one little chicken bouillon cube, three tablespoons of celery salt, and um, whatever kind of pepper, however much you think you need. Where'd you get this recipe? This is just my family's recipe. It is, so this yeah. has been passed down from grandma yeah. and mom to you. Grandma, yeah. It's good for you. But what's yeah. your special secret for the matzo balls? Because well, that's the heart of this soup. Yeah, my special secret comes right off the box. No. Oh, just take it off the side of the box, huh? Yeah. Well, that's original. <laughs> yeah. No one probably thinks to it's do that. It's a good that. recipe. Yeah, it is very good. It's excellent. So, mine, what do we do first, then? Okay, well, here we have all our ingredients. Okay. And what we're going to do is the water should be boiling, but make sure you don't dump everything in and make the water go all over the place. So the water should be boiling, but you just add the chicken. Okay, start with should the chicken. Should we just help you and put all yeah. this in? Yeah. All right. You put all the ingredients the, together. Okay, here you take the plate. Yeah. Then we have the dill. I don't just... think most actors make good cooks. <laughs> Why not, Lisa? Well, I just, that's just something I think. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> that's what I get cube. with Mickey. No, gross generalization I'm only from my paid to Lisa show up. Well, I know. Right, now, wait a minute. Aren't you going to okay. cut those up? What? No. Well, you can add them whole. It depends on whether um, the people you're serving actually like them whole or not. So we're just going to put them in whole just because... So you can take them or leave them? Yeah. All right. How do we make the matzo balls? Just, Is that something matzo, everyone in the world should know? You can just add this whole, even though you can chop it up. But Throw those mushroom uh, mushrooms Throw in, those little least. mushrooms in. Boink, 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 okay. boink. Okay. <laughs> boink, there you go. boink, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, and... She's a seasoned cook. I can tell that's how I do it. Oh, and we can just add pepper. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> now, are you going to leave those vegetables in? <laughs> what? Um, well, you leave them in. You basically just want the flavor of them. And about, um, after, it takes like an hour and a half. And yeah. after you put these in, you lower to a simmer. And then after about an hour, you take your matzo ball recipe right off the side of the box. Yeah, there it's you basically go. I, well, the thing I like about this recipe is it's very easy. So you just take it off the side of the box and you form them, um, you know, at, you refrigerate for about 20 minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. You form them into these neat little ping pong sized balls and then you just plop them in. Now, they need to stay in the soup for about how long? Um, well, since the whole thing takes about an hour and a half, um, they take about an hour to make. So, so they make about 30 minutes. 30 minutes into, into this simmering, you just um, make those matzo balls. And then balls you and take these vegetables out? I see we have a whole... Yeah, here we have, um, you can chop them up and you can take them out. If you only want them for the flavor, you could leave them in if you want to eat them. It's really up to, you know, whoever's... Right. And you have some other traditional <laughs> garnishings. I see that the... Yeah, this is um, challah and um, it's in a circle. Usually it's in like a braid, but it tastes really good. Lisa, why don't really you excellent. give us a, a little sample right here? How long have you been making this? <laughs> just recently, actually, with my mom. I only said most actors don't. I don't think they make good cooks. They don't have time, that's all. You're going to have every actor really in the busy. business calling yeah. us. Hey, can I, would you help us out with this? Oh, my, and this is good. Oh. Because if you're a trumpet player, I used to be okay. in band also. I want to hear your armor shirt. This is, this is quite an honor to be able to, to uh, uh, Yeah, the this is the shofar. It's just a ram's horn, so. 
That's there are good. lots of different calls, yeah. What, have, what are there, like four or five calls? Yeah, or? there are four calls, and the rabbi calls them but out. You, but you really are a, a good trumpet player. Yeah, yeah, I'm in the jazz band. And you see, you do everything. I think that's jazzy. great. She's got to go I over think. and be in Circus of the Stars right yeah. now. Yeah. I think that's great. Mm. It's good soup. Mayam, this is great. Thank you. Hey, come back again. Would you visit us? I will, us? yeah. It's Mayim great to Viola. see you again, Mayam. Thank you. Newsletter Here's number so. 90 is going to have Mayam's recipe. Now, coming up, uh, Nora Frazier is going to be with us and Paris Ripoffs. We'll show you how to look like a Parisian. We'll be right back. Thanks, Mayam.